Hello everyone and welcome back to Fortnite Hub. My name is Zaki and in this video we're going to be talking about the situation that has come up over the past 24 hours. So many of us by now know that the Fortnite World Cup has been called off for 2020 for clear and obvious reasons. If you'd like to learn more about that, I posted a video about it yesterday. But in this video we're going to be talking about the FNCS and more so the caster who was chosen by Epic Games to cast the event on the official Fortnite broadcast. Primrose TV, a Twitch streamer, tweeted out, I am so happy to announce that I will be casting part of the Fortnite official broadcast for the solo FNCS in May. I am so beyond excited for this opportunity. I love each and every single one of you for helping me get to this point. And as you can see from all of the responses, this definitely wasn't received well by many. But why is this the case? Well, title and thumbnail, you already know what's going on. But essentially, if we go into the hidden replies of this tweet, we can see people linking a video, a clip of Primrose's stream that Young Calculator, a Fortnite pro, tweeted out, showing Primrose talking about her views on a specific topic. Now, this video has almost 62,000 views in only a day. So who knows where this is going to end up. Regardless, here you can watch exactly what goes on and why people are upset. You support the Confederate flag as well. I support views of the Confederacy, but I do not in any way support the um, racism and the slavery that it shows. So those are, that's what I do not support. I don't support that. I think I accidentally did that. Oh no, yeah, dev, like the chat's moving kind of- So as you can imagine, regardless of how you feel about this, we all know that this is a, uh, a polarizing opinion, controversial, etc. Now what ended up happening in response to this, Primrose tweeting out, I'm withdrawing from casting this event, full statement here, and also pinning a tweet addressing the video that Young Calc posted. The tweet longer reads, in regards to the video, first of all, I am withdrawing myself from the casting team for the FNCS Invitational this month. I believe the broadcast should be centered around the gameplay, and I believe that my presence will now affect the focus. I am sorry to those of you that I heard by comments stated eight months ago, where I said I supported views of the Confederacy. These comments were made directly following the very politically oriented Raj Patel show. The Raj Patel show is a large just chatting stream on Twitch where Raj takes different people and scripts the show to get the maximum desired shock factor. When recruited for the show, I was advised to say certain things to trigger others. I understand that the Confederacy has a negative connotation, and when I say I supported specific views, the views I was referring to were of a smaller national government, more power to the systems, and lower taxes. I in no way support racism or slavery, and I apologize if it came across that way. I understand how hurtful those comments were and how poor my explanation was, and after those comments, I quickly realized that politics and political opinions had no place on Twitch, and I attempted to remove myself from all that. However, things still lingered. Although I have talked about how I no longer support any of this on my stream, the clips were taken out of context, and unfortunately there is no VOD to prove any of this. When I started streaming, my main goal was to become an esports commentator, and I had the opportunity to do so. However, I messed that up, and I am so very sorry about that. I am currently a broadcast journalism major, and my main focus is on esports. When I was given this opportunity, I was in shock because I was literally my dream job. Even with the recent events, I still believe it is my dream job. I am going to be taking a short break from streaming, and when I come back, I am going to work harder than ever to regain the trust of this community. I am going to not only improve my abilities as a caster, but I'm going to work hard to improve my gameplay as well. Now, I actually don't really know Primrose TV very well at all. In fact, this is the first that I'd ever heard of her. And well, what a way to learn about someone. Now, commenting on the Twitlonger itself. So Raj Patel show, yes, it's a huge Twitch stream show that features many very popular Twitch personalities. There's a lot of money that goes into it. A lot of money is made from it. And whether or not Primrose was asked to say things that triggered people. It could be true, it might not be true, I don't know. Regardless, I'd be interested to know whether or not Epic Games asked Primrose to tweet this herself, or whether or not Primrose made this decision by herself. We don't actually have the information on that, so anything I would be saying, if I was to say that it happened one way or another, I would be totally assuming, and that's not something I do on this channel. Regardless, as you can imagine, this has had a lot of feedback. There's a lot of hate going towards Primrose at the moment, but there's actually a lot of support going on there too. 
it's really interesting to see how this plays out on the internet and who is commenting what. It's an interesting situation overall. I'd love to hear what your thoughts are on this, but let's make sure that the comments are respectful and constructive as much as possible. And I honestly wonder who is going to be casting now that Primrose is clearly not going to be. What I do like is that Epic are trying to help and work with smaller streamers, which is really cool to see. Obviously, their selection is interesting, to say the least. But considering that we don't have someone like, say, Golden Boy, who is a clear choice for something like this, at the same time, I'm sure he's very much in demand right now. And also, like I say, it's good to see Epic Games working with smaller streamers, hopefully giving them a chance at their dream jobs as Primrose is talking about in her Twitlonger. That being said, like I say, I hope to hear your thoughts on this. If this video was useful in any way, a like is always very much appreciated. This is Fortnite Hub and I try to post everything going on that is interesting to you in the Fortnite community. So if you want to stick around and, and be updated and everything going on, make sure to hit that subscribe button, turn or keep notifications on and I will see you in the next Fortnite video. Take it easy everyone.